Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be kicking off 2019 with a how to make a banner video. Um, I'm going to be taking you through um, how you can simply make a banner using Inkscape. I already have uh, Inkscape pulled up here and I'm going to just go ahead and adjust my width by height. Typically I usually use around 500 width roughly around anywhere from 50 to 125 like you know height 500 width <laughs> i'm confused today um so i'm going to go ahead and just lay out the background by using my square tool um, i love using that mostly because if i when in doubt, I could always just select the background and when I export it, everything on top of it will be exported with. That way so I don't get any extra crap on the edges or whatever. Um, you know, that kind of just depends on how much shit you got going on. Sometimes you have to do weird stuff with, uh, uh, with artwork in general for Inkscape to make it work and look like a traditional art program like blurs and stuff. But we ain't going to get into that today, so mind all that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my text tool and put out my name here uh, towards the center of my banner. Um, you always want your name on your banner and you always want it to stand out over everything else that is in your banner. Um, your banner can obviously vary from person to person. Um, everyone just kind of has things that they like to do, want to do, show off. Burr, burr. Usually I just use my name, a couple of highlights of what I create, and a model or two. Um, the current one that I use, I have like two models, um, one on each side of my name, but uh, I'm going to sit here and just create a new one from scratch just so you guys can get an idea of how this is done. This is actually how I did it in the first place. I just, <laughs> I just came in here and improvised one day and just kind of slapped a bunch of crap together until I felt like it was good. Um, I want to do something sim uh, similar here. I want to use a model that uh, I had taken a picture of a few days back. If you do use a model, uh, I strongly suggest making sure your model is just covered in stuff that you create. Um, like for here, for example, I created her eyes, her hair, <clears throat> her top, and the necklace. Um, her skin, however, is created by someone else. I could not tell you who. I'm not quite sure. Um, I do not do skin or makeup or eyelashes, you know, any of that jazz I just leave to other developers. I kind of have my own niche, so I'll just, you know, let other people, you know, take over that, that niche. Uh, I just don't, never been a fan of making skins, it's just a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot of work and my computer really can't handle the level of uh, work that is put into making skins. I, I could make skins if I had a better laptop, but I just don't feel like it. Um, other than not really being able to do it. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of experimenting with this little line here in the center of uh, my banner. I'm trying to make my name stand out as much as I possibly can without taking uh, taking away from the design. I, I'm kind of thinking I want this to kind of uh, match my current icon that I just created. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to do some kind of white and gray scheme here. I need to center, I need to center that a little more. Okay, that'll be good. So, um, I'm also going to do um, what I usually do and just kind of add some text that corresponds with what I do as a developer. Um, add my pro, uh, pro creator stats, stat, uh, <laughs> stat uh, status for like a million years it feels like now. When you're, when you're using typo typography like this, like what I'm doing, make sure you use a, a different kind of font for your name versus like the text you want around your name. Um, it kind of stands out and it just looks better. It uh, use, and FYI, when you're doing that, make sure it kind of 
I don't know, matches the rest of the stuff that's going on to an extent. I mean, you'll notice the only thing that kind of matches with this typography with this typography is that they're both bold. So, you know, keep that in mind when you're making a banner. And I feel like I want to make this background something else. I want to make it like I did my icon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the top part of it white and the bottom part of it gray. And you're going to have to kind of play around with this a little bit until you're just completely satisfied. Um, clearly I don't want it to be too... I don't want the white to be like too strong. Because like uh, the layout on IMU itself is like solid white. So I'm going to go with like kind of like a little bit of a cream white. Like a grayish white. But not like full white. Just because like a pure like maxed out to 55 like lightness just kind of makes it look a little strange um, and also up here you'll notice that my pro creator text is like blending in because it is so white a good way to make that stand out is to copy that text paste it in place make it black blur it and then push it down below the original text to make it kind of stand out. And obviously I want to do the same thing for the clothes for men and women text down here in the corner to make it match and also so people know that I did that on purpose. Um, and so far I am feeling okay with this. I feel like this should suffice. So I'm going to up my DPI, I'm going to have my borders selected, notice I have my borders selected, and I'm going to export it as a PNG, just because I want like the maximum possible resolution. You don't want any like weird stuff going on there, which it should, you shouldn't have any weird stuff just going with 96, but I like to be like completely sure and safe because Banners are a little more important than people like give them credit for <clears throat> And once you have that saved you can just go under your albums and just upload it there instead of having to use tiny pick or photo bucket or places that you will like can be limited to or have to pay for Ignore that error message up there I was trying to upload a different banner earlier and it just wasn't the right size and I gave up on it So ignore that that's it has nothing to do with what's going on here and after you've successfully submitted it into your photo album you are free to use it however you like social media groups uh, your product page always put this banner on your product page on the very top or very bottom which whatever have you um, all you have to do is right click and hit copy image text and that's the that's the code that you're gonna be using for any you know IMBU platform if you want it to be properly displayed. I hope this video was really helpful to some of you. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome holiday, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.